Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So yes, I have a new setting. Um, we actually just moved, so I had to come up with a different setting. I don't know if it's going to stay like this. I have to be honest with you guys because my place is just not put together completely as of yet. But right now, you will see this in several of videos until after I figure out where my new recording spot is going to be. But without further ado, um, for you guys who have subscribed for the books, this is another book review. I have um, 14 days of foreplay. Can you guys see that? Four, okay, come on, come on, come on, you can do it. 14 days of foreplay. And it is by two authors, by Monica, I think it's Lizer, and Tiana Rooney. And um, let me just give you a little bit of background about these guys. Um, I thought that it was very interesting. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, here, here you go. They are therapists that work with um, families and um, married couples. So I thought that that was very interesting. And you you can see this is a very thin book. It took me all of a day and a half to read it, mainly because I kept getting distracted. I love the setup of this book. It is actually 73 pages, and I have to say that the chapters are not long at all. Let me see, let me see it with a focus so you guys can see that. So that's a chapter. Not really. Okay, that's better. Focusing like this. The chapters are relatively short. As you can see, the pages not, um, are not 100% full with words. So um, I will say that this book did surprise me, but it surprised me in a good way. Um, 14 Days of Foreplay, I was thinking that it was going to be, I mean, a little bit raunchier, I must say, but like in a good way to spice up the relationship. Now, this book is designed to spice up your relationship, but again, it was just a different way for me. This is like a self-help book where it gives you um, areas in here where you can write down things, sort of give you like sections of, you know, just lines, I choose you because, and then it gives you different, uh, basically it gives you different homework. And it also specifies that you do not have to do this uh, book all in 14 days. It could be 14 weeks. It could be 14 months. It really depends on how your relationship is set up in order for you to complete this book. I actually found several of them in here that I know my hubby would not mind doing with me. Some of them I might have to be a little bit sneaky with. I'm not going to lie because he just don't like writing stuff down. And so <laughs> a lot of this does require writing things down. So I might have to get a little tricky in, in getting him to participate in some of these things. But I want to read to you the reason why they made the book because I thought that it was really good. There are two parts of our there are two parts of our lives that encouraged us to write this book. First and foremost, we are happy and healthy most of the time in our marriages. <laughs> Monica has been married for 12 years and Tiana has been married for 15 years. Our husbands are our best friends. We are grateful to be living our own marriages with intention and to have partners who dare to be married to marriage therapists. Can you imagine the pressure? <laughs> Thankfully, our partners are invested in gestures of attention, even when this does not come naturally. The second part of our lives that fed the content of this book is our careers. We are both licensed marriage and family therapists. We met during grad school internship and felt a great connection to one another. Soon we realized that we see relationships through much the same lenses. We went to independent, independently owned group private practices, I can't read, supervise other marriage and family therapists, teach at universities, have each and have each served as president of our state professional associations. Every day we are gifted with couples inviting us to support their relationships. Thousands of hours of working with couples and learning from them as they find the courage to invest in one another is nothing short of inspiring. We believe the 14 days of foreplay gives our readers all the best of what we see to be effective in creating and sustaining healthy, playful, and long-lasting relationships. Couples experience ebbs and flows in relationship satisfaction. It is no secret that remaining connected to your partner takes thoughtfulness and energy. I'm going to read that again. It is no secret that remaining connected to your partner takes thoughtfulness 
thoughtfulness and energy. This investment in your relationship doesn't have to feel like work. In fact, it can be fun and playful. This book teaches these gestures of intention through 14 thought-provoking, experimental, and intimate activities. If you are eager to ignite connection, be playful, take risk, and grow, then wrap yourself up in 14 days of foreplay and read on. Um, I just thought that that was very poignant and made me really want to invest my time and energy into the book. Again, it was a very quick read for me. I read it um, from cover to cover mainly so I can come on here and give you a book review about it, but it's not necessarily meant for you to read it cover to cover. So what you want to do is read the first activity, do what it says do, and then move on to the second activity. Also, they set up the book where they want you to do each step in order because it is going to build the connect build the connection, build the intimacy between one another. It also, I like the fact that it doesn't always lead to sex, which is why it's foreplay. It doesn't always lead to sex. It depends on what your relationship um, is involved in. Also, there are some activities that they want you to do outside of the home and um, just to build the connection between one another. Um, finally, what I want to do is actually read an entire chapter to you, which is only like two or three pages. Um, just to give you an idea of what the book is asking you to do. So this chapter, or I should say day, it's day number four, and it's called I Choose You Because. And so there's three parts to every every chapter. The first one is called Stripping Down. The second one is Doing It, which is actively doing it. And then the afterglow, how you actually felt, what um, emotions and feelings it actually brought up. So this one is I Choose You Because. So Stripping Down. Marriage is a chosen relationship. Now, this book is is meant for married people, but I believe that this book is for anybody who is in a relationship who wants to build the in intimacy and connection. And of course, you can take this into your marriage. So marriage is a chosen relationship. It is different from being a son or daughter, a sister or brother, etc. When we get married, we explicitly choose a spouse. That is so true. You choose a spouse. This is often done with considerable evaluation of this person's qualities. Early in a relationship, our reasons for choosing our spouses are easily in the forefront of our minds, and we even and we are even able to vocalize these to our spouses on a fairly regular basis. For example, we might say, I want to be with you because you make me laugh. But over time, we share these reasons for choosing one, le one another less and less often. And when things become strained in a marriage, we could often use reminders of why we chose each other every day because we elect to stay married and why we are committed to keeping the marriage strong. Additionally, reminding ourselves of why we chose or choose our partners can often keep us from becoming frustrated by certain qualities. Oh, so true. For example, you are irritated by your spouse's long decision-making process. It is helpful to recall that you chose him or her as a part of I can't read y'all, but gracious. It is helpful to recall that you chose him or her as a partner because you are a because you admire the person's ability to discern when making important decisions. You just might feel less frustrated. Now the second part, doing it. Now make a list of the reasons why you choose your spouse. This exercise is about the here and now. So use present tense. Share these reasons with your spouse. And it gives you some examples right here. I choose you because you believe in me. I choose you because we have shared dreams for our children. I choose you because you are kind to me and others. I choose you because I feel special and important around you. I choose you because you are always up for an adventure. So those are some of the things, again, speaking present tense as to why you chose the person. Again, it's an activity that you have to do. And then you speak them to your partner. Now, the afterglow portion of it, which is what I said that's bringing up the feelings and why um, are you going to incorporate this into your daily or monthly or into your relationship period I like this as well so the afterglow what did it feel like to recall the reasons why you choose your partner originally or why you chose your partner today um, what did it feel like to express these thoughts and feelings with your spouse? And were you reminded of something you had forgotten? Did recalling these choices increase any patience or daily forgiveness in your marriage? Was your spouse surprised by any of your expressions? And then, um, so I liked all of that. And then finally, it gives you like a turn off that, you know, 
that turns everybody off. So then we have the invalidation portion of, I'm not going to read it to you because it's a little bit lengthier than I want it to, but it's a turn off. It's a, uh, for, I'll just read the top portion of it for it uh, to you. Turn off invalidation. A common invalidating experience includes feeling unheard, ignored, and misunderstood. Therefore, to experience validation is to feel heard, acknowledged, understood, valued, soothed, and accepted. Validation comes in lots of different forms. It can be a it can be listening, a nonverbal sound of empathy, such as a nod, asking clarifying questions to gain deeper understanding, or even a hug or a gentle touch. And then below, they give a number of validating phrases that you can give like, mm, ah, yeah, that must have hurt. That's terrible. I hear you. Tell me more. What happened next? Like, etc. So I just really love the setup of this book. Uh, I'm definitely suggesting that you pick it up. Uh, I definitely got it from my favorite store, which is Amazon.com. 14 Days of Foreplay. I am definitely um, suggesting that you pick this book up if you are interested in doing these 14 new activities to bring more flavor. <laughs> to bring more foreplay into your lives and obviously connect with your spouse more. And who knows where it will lead to. Some of them definitely give you the thought and idea that sex will probably come, but I will say it is not every activity. And I definitely like that fact because you want to be able to bond with your spouse, not only inside of the bedroom, but also outside of the bedroom. So definitely go ahead and pick up 14 days of foreplay by... Let's see if it'll, okay, by Monica Lizer and Tiana Rooney. Definitely pick this up. It is very, very easy read. Again, you don't have to read it straight through. It's only a few pages each time you do one of the activities. And then at the end of the book, definitely you will see that your relationship is that much more connected to your partner. I thank you guys for listening. There will definitely be more books to review. If you can see this stack of books over here, I have not read any of them. They are all... Um, well, 90 something percent of them are specifically to relationship books that I want to review on my channel. So they definitely will be coming up. I have another one that I will release next week, a book review. And then at some point I'll be able to get through these as well. And um, I thank you for listening. If you like this video, of course, give me thumbs up and share this with all of the many book readers that you know love to read books and also those who want to put some spice into their relationship because this will absolutely help to do that. If this is your very first time here, definitely go ahead and hit the red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face because here I love me, me, me. I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. I thank you for listening and I will see you again in the next video. Deuces.